In this video today, we're going to look at the cup and handle pattern. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so let's use the purple pen now and let's look at the cup and handle pattern. So this is a rough kind of sketch of how it would appear on the chart. Obviously, you're gonna see different things in charts and what have you. This is really one to find. I guess it's a continuation, but depends on obviously where you see it. But you look at the pattern and then we'll kind of work, look at some ideas on where we could use it, time frames, et cetera, entries, exits. So this is the pattern. The pattern is you've got to drive up here. Okay, then you've got a, a kind of a reversal that doesn't intrude too much into the initial drive. You don't want this coming right the way back. It kind of forms a little bit of a, a kind of rounding acceptance that it's about to push back up. Pushes back up, doesn't quite break through the high, pauses a little bit, but this time it doesn't go down, it doesn't really kind of do a double top, it doesn't really go lower, it doesn't really kind of retrace. Then it kind of pushes back and then it starts to push up. So you can see we've almost got the reason, obviously it's got its name, is you've got the cup here and the handle. And our entry would be a long above this high here. So there would be our long. And the good thing about this one is our stop would be under that handle. So rather than stuff like this scallop, which is a little bit broader, a little bit wider, a little bit longer, you've got to have your stop right down here. Here's a bit more an aggressive trade, a bit more tighter, a bit better perhaps on the risk reward ratio, those kind of stuff, because if you long there and your stops there and you've, you've seen this kind of move, then you might get a real decent risk reward ratio out of it. And we all know that's, that's crucial having a trade. All right, so let's look at the inverse quickly, then we'll look at where we perhaps could use this, time frames, etc. Same kind of thing, guys. You have the drive lower, push down. We've got this kind of unwinding here, rolls over, pauses, and then bang. And the same kind of thing here, we would be going short here uh, with a stop above here. Of course, if we're already long for whatever reason, um, that may well be a point where we come out of the trade. Uh, same as if we're short here. Okay, so that's the thesis of it. You can see why, let's see how, how it works and why it works. The reason this is so powerful is because if we look at things in supply and demand and, and the way that um, I like to look at stuff, you might be different, but I like to think of the counterparty and all this kind of stuff. When we push up, we drive lower, we've, we, we, we're rejecting that new level, we've pushed lower, we don't encroach too far into the drive, and then we start to retest. Retest we haven't pushed through, so it's not looking great yet, but this is the key part, this is what kind of really price action is all about. We're driving down, but we're very, very, very low into that drive. Into the primary drive, we're hardly anything. Into the secondary, we're hardly anything as well. And then we start to push back up. The, the inference there is that, yes, there's a bit of supply here, but demand hasn't waited for significantly cheaper prices before they've started to step in. So for whatever reason, they've decided that, okay, we're a little bit off the high, I'm gonna step in now. And yes, there may well be a little bit of an overhang of supply there, but the inference is that once we break through that, then that demand will more than outstrip supply and will push the upside. Similarly, on the other way around, guys, you know, we've pushed back up, pushed the lows, couldn't really get going, tried again, couldn't really get going, uh, lower high scenario, and then push the downside. So even though it's like a, a higher, higher lows kind of triangle almost, it's the fact that it's that rounding shape really, and then the second push that goes up. So when would we use this? This is something that probably is going to work better on your higher time frames. So if you swing traders, you know, your daily time frames, uh, maybe your weekly time frames, seeing that broader change in supply demand. This is not a you know really quick entry, it's a broader change in supply and demand. Uh, now, what you could do is, if you're looking at this on a daily chart, then you could use it as a filter for your intraday trading. So let's say you're filtering for cup and handle patterns on a daily chart, and then intraday, you're trading on this day here, or this day here, for example, and you're saying, right, well, there's a broader cup and handle on a higher time frame that's anticipating higher price up here. I'm an intraday trader, this is a bit too long for me, but if we start to perhaps break out on the opening drive in the morning, then I can jump on that, assuming that we might just get a trend day today, and assuming if you 
can do that as part of a training strategy. I might be able to hold that for two or three days and get a bit more juice from it. So that's one way of kind of using the higher time frame patterns in a lower time frame. Uh, would I use this specifically on a lower time frame? Probably not. I think you're okay on a four hourly if you're having multiple days and you're seeing a broader kind of move, especially in the forex and stuff like that. If you're starting to go down to your five and one minutes, I think those are too noisy for this. And I think this is the kind of thing that takes a longer time to mature correctly to give you that, that insight into the supply and demand. But it's quite nice because the risk is quantified there your stop is very much um you know near that high if it's going to work it's going to work if it isn't it isn't yes there might be a subsequent trend that comes from it if it stops you out but that's another trend and a kind of commercial decision for you to make in your trading business and strategy all right guys that's the cup and handle pattern take care bye bye